Kaan uit Shalom. I want to start off with giving all praises on and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yasha Bashim Kakadash. The bonds that are others in the past are great. Most of Shalom to the like Hope this video will be edifying. And let's get into it. Now, this John chapter 14 and verse 6. Well, actually, let's start at 1. Let your heart be troubled. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in the Most High, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. You see, so that is Yahweh Shai speaking. And he is preparing a place for what? For his elect. You know, for his chosen ones, for his loved ones, man. You know, because look, the earth is gonna be overpopulated once the, once the kingdom comes. It's gonna be at a certain point it's gonna be overpopulated and we uh the Israelites are going to um go and inherit other planets man you know that's that is what it actually means you know Yahweh Shai is right now he's preparing planets for us you know preparing everything so when he comes back we can inherit everything that Yahweh Shai is going to inherit, man. Being joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. You know? Verse 3. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. You see, so after Yahweh Shai comes back, the elect. It's always going to be with Yahweh Shai, man. You know, the scripture says, uh, Neither is there any man that can pluck out of my father's hand. You see? No, the, the, the sheep hear his voice and they follow me. You know? You cannot pluck the pluck the elect out of... Out of uh, uh, you cannot separate the elect from Yahweh Shai and you cannot separate the elect from the Most High Yahweh. You know, the elect will, will all, always follow Yahweh by Shem Yashai. You know, the Most High in the name of his son. Uh, jumping to verse 6. Yahweh Shai said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You see, so we have to go through Yahweh Shai. That's why we say Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. The Most High in the name. Bahashim meaning in the name. Yahweh meaning he is. Bahashim meaning in the name and Yahweh meaning he deliverer, he savior. You see, so we say Bahashim Yahweh in the name of, of, of the Son of the Most High. You know? That's how we go to the Most High. Yahweh, you cannot go in any other way, like the scripture says, or else you are a thief and a robber. You see? So you have to come through. Uh, you have to go through Yahweh Shai to get to to uh, get to the Most High Yahweh. You know that's why in prayer, in everything we do, we say Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know we give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We we still do it do it through His Son Yahweh Shai. You see, which is very important, man. That's a very important piece of the puzzle. You know, because Yahweh Shai played a very important role in our salvation also. You know, because of him, we have access back to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. You know, that's why you got to watch an Old Testament demon that is talking about some, yeah, um, we don't need Yahweh Shai or we don't need the Son. We, we can just go straight to the Father. You know, watch a nigga like that, man, that says some dumb ass shit like that because he's dangerous and he's going to kill you, man. You know, coming up with those false doctrine, with those false, uh, yeah, coming up with false doctrines, strange, strange uh, philosophies, wisdom, you know. Um, let's jump to verse 9. Well, actually, yeah, that, that, that was it on that. You know, let's see if I can get something else. You know, I just, I just, I was just scrolling, scrolling through my, through my bookmarks. 
and I just found uh, this one you know that's why I'm uh, didn't even prepare a lesson really but still man you know gotta push whatsoever you you are man there's no excuses not to be making a video you know if you have the time you know you have a 20 minute walk to wherever you need to go make a 10 minute video man you know make a 10 minute video let me get this this is also a good one this is Matthew chapter 10 and verse 33 but whosoever shall deny me before men well actually let's start at 32 Matthew 10 and 32 whosoever therefore shall confess me before men him will I confess also before my father which is in heaven you see so that's why it's very important to go on the highways and byways and preach you know that's why it's very important man you know a lot of dudes they don't want to do it they're ashamed <laughs> you know they ashamed but funny thing is Yahushai is going to be ashamed when when he sees that you that you that you don't want to do it man he's gonna be ashamed of you man because basically you had a chance to but you didn't do you didn't do nothing man you, you didn't do nothing with the chance that you had you see so that's why it's very important to confess man confess Yahubashi Mashai in front of that's why on, on, on every week, you know, we, we go on the highways and byways and we do what we do, man. You know, you have a lot of people also, you, you have a lot of people also, they uh, <laughs> common, com common board warriors, you know, they want to tell us what to do, but they have no works. You cannot see no works like them, at least show show us then how it's done you know if you talk that much shit you might as well show us how it's done but they can't because they have no works you see first 33 but whosoever shall deny me before men him will i also deny before my father which is in heaven you see so that's why <laughs> it ain't no good it ain't no game man you know it ain't no game if you if you're ashamed to uh, confess the name Yahweh Yahweh Shai, you're in trouble, man. You know you're in big time trouble. Don't 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 expect to have a hedge around you, man. You know don't expect to have protection, man. Like the scripture says in Job, you know where Satan said like Job had a hedge around him. You know don't don't expect that, man. Because why? You basically ashamed of the name Yahweh Yahweh Shai you know so and you don't want to you don't want to acknowledge the for for those people also those old testament demons that don't want to acknowledge Yahweh you in trouble also man because you denying him also so you're in trouble for that if you don't repent of course verse 34 think not that i am come to send peace on earth i came not to send peace but a sword you see the second time that Yahweh Shai is gonna come back, he ain't gonna he ain't gonna do no talking, man. The scripture says in Luke, bring them hither and slay them before me, those that will would not make me rule over them. You know, that's Yahweh Shai speaking, man. You know, that's Yahweh Shai speaking. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother. And the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law you see so in this truth that's just how it's gonna be man you might your 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 mother not, might not like that you um basically preach on, on the highways and byways your father might not like it you know they might even say they disown you you know they don't want anything to do with you anymore such and such but that's just the life of someone of a man of the lord in this truth man you know that's that's just what it is man and that's just what we gotta uh that's if that's your lot if that's your if that's your affliction you know one of your afflictions then that's just how it's gonna be man you know and a man's foes shall be day shall be day of his own household you see so that's why that's why like you might have your family members coming up coming up against you man only because you 
preaching the name Yahweh Bashim Yashai. We didn't even do nothing besides preaching, man. And they come up against you, showing you that, hey, this truth is very powerful, man. And it's a heavy spiritual battle. That's why we got to stay sharp, man. You know, because how, how you like how you get angry because uh, men are, are basically reading a Bible uh, uh, on the streets. How you get angry at that? You know, then something is so uh, definitely wrong, man. Something is definitely wrong with you if you get vexed and angry because of that, man. You see? So, uh, continuing on. Verse 37, he that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me, you see? So, if you... <laughs> If your family says, yeah, you got to stop with this, with this truth. You got to stop going on the highways and byways or else we will disown you. We will have nothing to do with you, bloody blah, blah, such and such. You know, what is going to happen is if you give in and you tell them like, okay, you know, I'll stop this and that. Basically, you are not worthy of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, man, because that, that, that means you didn't put Yahweh Bashim Yashai on priority, man. He's supposed to be on first place. Everything else comes second, man. You know, if something is first place, you wouldn't, you wouldn't uh, sacrifice that first place for something that's second or third place, man. You know, no, then the second and third place gotta, gotta go, man. Well, same way in this truth, man. You know, if your family members tell you like, hey, yeah, I don't like y'all, I, I don't like your teaching. You know, I don't like, I don't like what you're doing and believing in this, stop it, you know, or else get out of my house or what, 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 whatever they want to throw at you. Man, keep, keep, keep your peace. You know, don't get riled up in your emotions. Don't make hasty decisions. Be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. But keep it pushing. Keep the scriptures. Keep keep Yahweh Bashim Yashah on priority, man. If you gotta leave the house, try to get another another house at a family member or whatever, man. Well, at a family at another family member. No, that's not a good advice. But basically, at someone that's maybe a friend, close friend, or whatever, man. Or get your own space, uh, place, man. You know. But wh whatever the case may be. Don't stop this truth for no one, man. You know? Because the most high going to kill your ass if you do that. You know? The most high going to kill you, man, if you, do, if, you, if you do that. Here you have it. You're perfectly healthy. You have eyes to see, ears, ears to hear, a mouth to speak. You have nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with you. You know? You're perfectly fit. You can stand up for hours. You can walk, you have no pain, and yet you refuse to do the work of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Even though you have the knowledge, wisdom, and understand, even though you know better, you still don't want to do it. The most I gonna kill your ass, man. You know, for y'all wicked niggas out there, y'all tutors and y'all uh, 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 bug outs and fallouts, you know, y'all dudes that want to find your life, you know, y'all want to make it in this society. Most I gonna kill your bitch ass, man. You know? And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. Right. You don't wanna carry your burden, you want you don't wanna carry your affliction. You wanna pussy out like a bitch. Most I gonna kill you, man. Yao Bashimash is gonna kill you. Verse 39. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. You see, so if you wanna find your life in this world you know oh yeah i need to find myself i need to find how who, who i am and such and such such your shut your f ass up man i don't want to say that word because i might get striked you know but basically shut your f ass up man because that's what females say man females say that dumb ass shit yeah i gotta find myself this that shut your bitch ass up man you know, you have dudes falling out of this truth because they want to so-called find themselves like some sissy boys, you know? 
you, you. But he, let me let me read it again. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. Right. You lose your life, meaning uh, you in this truth. Now all of a sudden you lose. May you might lose your job or you lose your uh, wife, uh, 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 children, or whatever the case may be. You know, maybe you had a, a talent in the world that you now gotta stop because it is not beneficial. It, it clashes with the truth. You know, you have to give give those talents more time than this truth. So you sacrifice those talents and you just fo fully focus on this truth. That's that's basically you uh, uh, um, losing your life, man. Because why? You ain't you ain't all up in this world, man. You ain't trying to make it in this world, man. You are willing to sacrifice anything for Yahweh Bashim Yashai sake. You know? You gonna find your life, man, for doing so. You know? So, Khan, I hope this video was edifying. I wanna give all praises on and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yashai Bashim Nakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the whole for that. Hope this video was edifying and shalom.